December 29th here, and we are at the Ministry House that's not quite completed. We're going to have a tour of it and what needs to be done. Yeah. This is the Ministry House that we have started building. Um, over on this side, you see a two-story structure. Bottom is pretty much been finished. The upstairs is totally unfinished. It's going to be a dwelling place. This side is... It's called the boys' quarters. When you have a house this size, you have to have servant quarters. But this right. is also, it's a two-bedroom apartment mm -hmm. where Eric and his wife and two children live here and here. Hi, Timothy. And this is a storeroom. We need about $40,000 U.S. Yep. to finish out upstairs. It's totally just rough, roughed mm -hmm. in. And so we're praying the, the Father will provide. This is Lisa. Say hi, Lisa. Hi. Timothy's one of the orphans who's going to be living in this house okay. with his brothers yep. and his sister. Yeah. This would be the sitting room area, a dining area. An interesting thing of construction here, they build the walls and then yeah. they go back and chisel passages for plumbing and conduit and such. Yeah. It's Ugandan style. Ugandan style. Ugandan style. This is going to be... The kitchen, right here? yeah, it's just a little tiny kitchen. This little apartment has two bedrooms. This room, and right now they're storing the dried beans and such. But this will yep. be a bedroom. This will be a bedroom. And again, you see, you see how they yes they built and then they chiseled out to put conduit. There's wow. a little bit of preliminary work, and the roof will be stuccoed as well. And then this will be the bathroom. And two bedrooms, two bedrooms, and a little bathroom. Typical Ugandan bathroom is just one room. Yeah. The shower's just on the wall. It's not a separate stall or anything. So there'll probably be toilet, uh, shower, and a sink or something like that. So this will be one unit, and then just cross over. Okay, we could get directly across from the stairs, so let's go here. There's no railings, so no railings. we could now potentially notice, fall. Yeah, there will be when we're done. This is the finished wall. Okay, it was just the bricks like in there, but yep. they covered it with this stucco. Okay. Still needs to be painted. This is a one bedroom apartment. This would be the bedroom. Okay. So this is your living side? It would be, yeah, this is where I stayed downstairs and they designed it to be like a prophet's room sort of thing. Again, they build the walls, but then they cut holes in the walls to have the supporting beams. So then they have to go back and patch everything. Oh, it's funny. interesting sort of mindset, but that's the way they do that. Yeah. To me, it seems, very inefficient energy wise. This will be the little bathroom. Downstairs, there's a sink in the corner, the shower's over there, and the toilet's there. Dining and sitting area. So oh. we need to put the refrigerator in the corner. And here, too, they've, they've got conduits in. We've got 21 orphans so far in our care. Actually, 22 because we have the young lady, Joan, who was assaulted and now has a little baby. So we have 22 orphans that have been given to the Benji by their grandmothers and mothers before they died, asking us to please care for them. So right. once we get them all under un one roof, it'll be so good. Yeah. They'll have a, st and uh, we'll need a care another caretaker. We'll see what the Lord provides. He knows what's needed here, and he says he's father to the fatherless. So we're praying that he'll be the father these children need and provide for them. And we'll show you what the finished ones look like. What let's they can go. Look like. So let's go. So we've come downstairs. I want to show you the finished ones. This one is the one bedroom apartment. It's where I have stayed before. We have some people who stay here some, but nobody's here regularly. This was my kitchen. One thing, being sure you have safe drinking water. That's a big thing. And these water filters are called Tiva, T-I-V-A. It's interesting, actually some men in Knoxville, Tennessee, which is where I'm from, I heard about it, they developed this. Very simple, it's just a filtration system using sand, but it will last for years. It's, you know, no, no moving parts, and it'll filter like five gallons a day. So it gives a way for safe drinking water. It costs about $80 US for one of these, but this will take care of the children. They don't have to worry about getting typhoid or E. coli from the well water. Sitting area, living area. This is a refrigerator that my rent money purchased. Um, this is the way they like to finish the walls uh, or the ceilings uh, with the, the patterns and such. The porch out here. Nobody's staying here, so it really is not kept clean at the moment. So this is the furnished apartment 
where I stayed two years ago, we had some urgency that we've told you the story that there was a lot of persecution from the clan leaders for Fazira at the house where she was staying in her village. And so that was the urgency to get this going. But in the meanwhile, as we told you, God showed himself faithful so that the witch doctor said, we give up, your God wins. And for those who don't know, Fazira is Musamba and Evelyn's mother. And she also was abandoned by her husband. Yes, had a lot of persecution over the years mm -hmm. from the clan leaders because she would not participate in the sacrifices and the other tribal yeah, yeah. demonic stuff. It's generational, so it's very ingrained in the culture. Yeah. So when you go against the culture, it's like, yeah. what's your weird? It's their traditions. The traditions and all. And, yeah. But we're seeing God work in breaking those traditions and bringing them in line with what scripture says as a way to live. Okay, this is the second apartment, the two bedroom. The kitchen is just partly finished. It's very simple. So here you come in. Same as upstairs. Yep. And then on this side are the, the two bedrooms. So here, the other bedroom. It's dirty because it's not being used and then, like I said, there were some water issues. The majority of it is done. We would have a girl's side and a, and a boy's side. Yeah. We're talking about doing as a girl's dorm to put bunk beds in the sitting area. When I first came in 2019, we came over here and we walked around and we prayed for it. She had a vision that God told her to build this house. She had already had the house plans drawn. Really? She had so the these house, are her house plans? These are her house plans from like four years ago. Here she is, this abandoned woman, living hand to mouth. And yet she had a vision for this, that it was going to be a place. She named it the Peace of Israel Ministry House. She had been given a few thousand dollars by some folks that were here. And she said, we're gonna start building. So we started laying the foundation. Uh, we were blessed to get to partner with a ministry called King's Ransom Foundation. The Lord connected us and they did some matching funds. And we had some other folks who helped. And, and what's crazy, because of the persecution, this was not something I could post on Facebook. Yeah, because they followed the Facebook Because they followed the Facebook page. So it was only by email and word of mouth directly. And yet we raised the money to do all of this. Only God could do that. All right, so we just saw a tour of the ministry house. And we're going to just spend a little bit of time with a few of the orphans that are living just behind the ministry house because legally they can't actually live in the ministry house because it's not completely finished. So they're living over here at the moment and we're going to play some games and just spend some time with them. And then we spend more time with them tomorrow and then on Sunday, the next day, then we're going to be going swimming with a bunch of them. <laughs> <laughs> what does she want? <laughs> she wants to be carried every time whenever I come here. Yeah. Oh. How are you? Hi, Kathy. Hello, How are you? Are you fine? Yes. You sure? Yes. You have it? No. You have it? No. You have it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Whose house is it we're going to next? Petwas. 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 There we go. Right. He's making bricks here. Hello, what's up? Cutting my brick into the mold. And then they're stacked like that, spaced apart so they can dry. Even here. Wow. Oh yeah, hey. That's amazing. So why do they put the branches kind of in between the bricks? The corn stalks? They don't want it to, to get... Um, the like, rain to wash. Yes. Okay. Okay. I want to do primary school. Okay. Then we get to wear it. Yeah. These are my streets. This is quite the, your streets. Yeah, where I used to... <laughs> to play <laughs> for a while. <laughs> what I do? With friends. <laughs> I had to become here, really. Oh, my. And here there's some construction going on. But hello. Hello. They're all happy to see Muzungus. So after the bricks are 
air dried, then they're baked. Yes, they're baked. For like 12 hours, but the fire stays in for like three days. Wow. Oh yeah, you see that? The big tower, Jenny, that's where they bake it. And there's a hole that you can... It's the air Wow. Okay, so we are at Petwa's house. Thank you, nice to see you. You as well. Yeah. You're most welcome. Patience. Patience. And Jenny. Jenny. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I'm a yes. Woman. Nice to meet you. Hmm? That's right. Mala, these two are twins. Hello. Oh, okay. Janice is a twin. Yes. She has a twin who looks just like her. A beauty. A beauty. Yeah. Yeah. The mud huts? Are they called waffles? Waddle. It's Waddle. mud and yeah. sticks. Mm -hmm. Come here, meet Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. Hi, Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hi, Emmanuel. He can hear, though. Yeah, just hear, hear me, but talking and moving now. Yeah. Mm. And this is the wheelchair that Lisa helped get for him. One reason I wanted to come by, try to find a second sponsor for you to help with food. Because you've got twice as many children now. Thank you so much. Okay. And your heart was big enough to bring them home. Yes, yes. You know, they had nothing, so they are your nieces and nephews. Yes. Okay. Mm. Yeah. But he's not around. Okay. So my mom left them when they are two years and then went. That because my brother was poor, then she went and have another had another husband. This is the kitchen. Uh, we're here back at Kaliro, and uh, there was actually a funeral. Someone just passed away, so lots of people are going to the funeral. So hopefully we get a good group. Oh, that little one. She's just a little scared of me. One of the, the ladies that we brought back here last week, who had been assaulted in Saudi Arabia. She's doing so good. She just came running out. She's so happy to see us. And little Harriet, she wants to pack my camera case and all. Looks like we are going to just basically teach the whole class. And there's a few adults here. Eleanor and Masumba, they're going to go and check on some widows. And Jackson, who we saw last week, he has some sores. They're going to be back in a couple hours. Hi! That's so sweet. Hi! Wow, they're all coming. <laughs> and Jesus put his hand on the little girl and he said, Wake up, my child. And in that instant, the little girl woke up. Her parents were overjoyed. All the children who brought up concerns that they want to be, have prayer for, we're now going to get them to pray. They mm pray. -hmm. And they pray out loud, right? Yeah, the Bible, the The ninth commandment is you shall not tell lies. Or Everybody's coloring to Mm 
Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Good. We are coloring right now. Yes. As you can see. Uh huh. Everybody is coloring. Awesome. Everybody, even the big for them today. <laughs> They're yes. all coloring, and it's so beautiful. It right? is. There we go. So the colorings are done. They're eating their candies. This is a very lively group. And you just came back from? We have been going down the road. Musamba spotted the sister-in-law of Chairman De Laos, the, the uh, Muslim man who died mm -hmm. when, right when I first got here. And so we went to speak to her and she took us back and met her Chairman De Laos's widow and then his brother. And I got to lead all three of these Muslim people to the Lord. They, just this afternoon. Just this afternoon. That's just, amazing. Just half an hour ago. They have, they're such devout Muslims. They have scars on their head from the prayers. Oh, wow. Wow. And they have prayed to Es Yeshua. They asked me to come back. They said, next Friday, they want to bring some friends who want to hear. Then we went on down the road just a little ways and found Jackson, the young boy that has a sore on his back. He was out. So we stopped there, and then there was a lot more people who came up. And so we have, it's very, very lively today. A very interesting. Picture time. Everyone wants to show off their artwork. Picture, picture time. They are so proud of their pictures. Hold your pictures up. blind person touches another person, that person becomes a blind man. Okay. All right. You be the blind one. All right. And one more thing. from above and let the skies pour this down has righteousness. Been such a bizarre, godly, yeah. amazing day. day. Yes. Bye, 
sitting I can't believe how much we've been sitting thanks again for driving Masumba yes thank you Masumba. and for the donuts Hosanna hallelujah all right so the floors are swept not mopped but swept for Sabbath tomorrow Jenny Eleanor and I have been working on supper campfire meal ground beef with bell pepper and potatoes and onions and i'm gonna show you our room this is our room i don't think we have introduced you to it directly although there's not like a whole lot to see <laughs> anyway here is our closet that we're not using a whole lot but these cupboards kind of keep falling open <laughs> this house has some fun little personality traits so this is Janessa's side, and that's my side. And that's basically all there is to it. And then I have some more stuff here. There's one hilarious thing in here about the sink. This thing. This is the tap. And it drives us crazy because it comes <laughs> off. And it's constantly dropping in the sink. And then the water's running. <laughs> We gotta figure a good name for it. <laughs> um, and down the hall here is the bathrooms. So this is a Ugandan squatty potty, which we are using. No problem with that. We're used to going in the bush. And then the shower room, which is good. But if we need, there's also a American toilet around the corner there. Anyway, I'm gonna upload oh, a bunch oh, of pictures. Happy Sabbath Eve. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Daniel. suffering, our freedom is Our salvation. 